Alf Shipman and Sam King opened their first brand new cinema in November 1921 at Hailsham near Eastbourne. The pavilion, designed by Hastings architect Henry Cousins, seated 400 and closed in May 1965. Bingo was played here for many years, but in May 1990 the building was derelict. When it first opened, it had red plush seats that were said to be very comfortable, and ventilation was hygienically carried out, drafts having been obviated. The screen was painted directly onto the rear wall, and there were at first no screen curtains. The next was the pavilion Hoddesdon. This opened in February 1930 with 838 seats. The pavilion was a conversion of part of a brewery and had been designed by Howis and Belcham. The third purpose-built cinema, the Regent Crowborough, replaced the picture house almost opposite. The Regent opened in November 1931 and was designed by Henry Cousins. A.R. Shipman lived locally and this was the reason such an ambitious theatre was built at this early stage in the circuit's history in this small, out-of-the-way town. The Regent seated 700 and performances started daily as early as 1.15. The cinemas at Tunbridge Wells, a much larger town only 10 miles away, did not open until an hour later. The Regent at Rye opened in October 1932. This was also designed by Hastings architect Henry Cousins. The Regent replaced the Rye Electric Palace. The Regent seated 700 and was closed abruptly in 1942 when an enemy bomb scored a direct hit. A morning screening of army instructional films had finished. The theatre had been cleared, but unfortunately the assistant manager, who was still on the premises, was killed. The fifth Shipman and King Theatre to be built was at Hawley. This opened in April 1935, and exterior resemblances to Crowborough and Rye are very apparent, as this was also designed by H.W. Cousins. The Regent had a cafe, and the auditorium seated 1,000. The Regent continued the style being set for Shipman and King Theatres. Luxurious, medium-sized cinemas set in small towns in the home counties, each equipped to a high standard and in many cases complete with organ. Alf Shipman and Sam King set up in business at the end of World War I. They had been respectively violinist and pianist in cinemas and they saw possibilities in becoming exhibitors. Shipman and King Cinemas Limited were registered in 1920. A.R. Shipman and S.S. King Circuit eventually grew to about 40 theatres. They chose their sites in the middle-class country towns of the home counties with remarkable care. <laughs>